everyone, Draker here, and I'll be casting yet again another BlizzCon 2010 match. There's a ton of good matches, so I'll probably cast almost all of them, uh, depending if I come across any other good replays of anyone else. Uh, someone sent me uh, the whole list of uh, all the matches from BlizzCon, as I did cast the finals first, because that's the only thing I had, so now I'm kind of going in reverse, going from the finals and backtracking, but hey, whatever, matches are matches. Um, now we are here on Zelnaga Caverns, we're here with Softball as the Red Terran on the bottom left spawn, and on the top right spawn we are here with Huck um, as once obviously Blue Protoss, which is all he plays, and he is the OP Canadian. Um, definitely one of my favorites here. Now we do have a scout, quick scout on the way here for Huck as he did get that pylon out. Um, now we do have a wall off on the way here for Softball, uh, which is not even going to matter because Huck's going to be able to get in there fairly quickly and I think that's the reason why he sent out that scout real early is he wants to be able to scout that opponent base before the wall in is finished. Um, as is exactly what's going to be able to do. I don't know what Softball was uh, doing, a little miss macro there. And now we do have um, Barracks on the way here for Softball at 12 supply, very normal. Um, as Huck, uh, who is a great harass with his probe, I mean, he can, I've never seen anyone do so much damage with probes uh, than Huck here. I've, I've seen some crazy games where he can freaking use like one or two pro. <laughs> he always does, I don't understand, Huck always, um, when he scouts his opponent's base, he goes to the natural, mines out some minerals, and then he goes back up to his opponent's base. I have no clue why, but it's what he does, have some fun with it, might as well. Now we do have an assimilator on the way here for uh, Huck, so we are going to see some early stalkers in the field as that's done. We'll probably see Cyber Next Core and then the stalkers. Um, unless he's just going to say screw stalkers uh, and get warp gates first. Um, now we do have an orbital command is uh, just now on the way here for softball um, as well as uh, the refinery is done. So I'm not sure. He might actually um, transition to um, quick siege tanks and do mass uh, marines. Um, in the siege tank, uh, mass marines and siege tank build, not into siege tank build, um, which is a very popular build against Protoss. It's real strong, um, and I mean, there's a lot of counters that Protoss can deal with it. But I mean, if, when you got tons of siege tanks and they're all sieging, and you can draw them in with the marines, it, it doesn't even matter if you got counters or not. Um, it's just basically on how well you can play on uh, the, the dealing with that um, mass siege tank and marines there. Um, now we do have the Cyber Nice Core is just done here for Huck. Uh, as we do are going to see a stop first stalker get Chrono Boost out. We have a reactor on the way here for softball on that first uh, barracks. So we are going to see, be seeing some mass marines. And by the looks of thing, he is getting his uh, second barracks. Um, before, not even bother getting going into a factory. So we're going to see some marine marauder build here um, by the softball. And I want to say I never even heard of this guy. So I'm I'm guessing he's a pro. He was an, an invitational. Uh, BlizzCon was an invitational. So. I don't know if he had original name before that. If anyone can, uh, you know, throw down a comment and let me know if he, uh, whoever this guy is, because I, I don't know who the hell he is. It must be just some random diamond guy that was lucky enough to get invited or something. I don't know. Now, Softball is still scouting around with his SCV. We do have a push here from Huck with a Stalker and a Zealot, uh, which is actually a great timing push here, as there's only a couple Marines on the field. Oh, nope, two more. Oh, never mind. Softball, is, uh, that reactor was finished in time, so he's going to be able to pump out a ton of Marines, and he's going to have a Marauder on the field before that um, Zealot and uh, Stalker can get there, and it looks like he did decide to retreat. Um, as Huck is also now getting his Nexus on the way here, so he's definitely looking to do a quick expand. He has two more gateways on the way, so he definitely looks like he might be going into a four-gate Robo build, uh, which is um, very common Protoss build. Now, we do have Concussive Shells are just about done here for um, this Terran player. Huck is looking to uh, slowly destroy those rocks, so we might be seeing him do another quick expand um, fairly quickly. Now, it looks like we have like a slow, um, slightly all-in build um um, not build, but a push here from Softball as he has a few SCVs as meat shields uh, to deal with uh, any zealots or whatnot as he's pushing them with a handful of marines and a marauder and he's also got more units rallying up so he's definitely looking to do a quick good game here against Huck, but it ain't going to happen because Huck's got sentries in the field and he is one Protoss player who can do freaking amazing things with uh, um, sentries. It's just ridiculous and the stuff he can do. Now, we did have, see if there was a barracks on the way here for Huck, but he decided to cancel it. Um, 
or not uh, not for Huck, uh, barracks for softball. I don't know why I just said for Huck. Wow. Um, probably because I just woke up. Anyways, now we do have a Robo Bay uh, on the way here for Huck. He didn't go to a four-gate uh, Robo. He went to the three-gate Robo build. Um, so whatever, he's got the Robo Bay down. That's all he needs. He's probably, I guarantee he's going to um, get, instead of getting Immortals, he's going to go get for Colossi as he realizes that his opponent here is uh, going to be doing the usual MMM ball. Um, we have a, looks like we had a Zealot come in here in the base of softball, but it got destroyed pretty quickly. I'm kind of mad I missed that, although it wasn't much. So we do have the Starport is finishing, and we do have a Medic Vac now on the way for softball. So softball is doing the traditional MMM ball that most Terran players do. Uh, no, it's just a basic, uh, basic build. Um, A1... Yeah, everyone must know what the hell it is actually so I'm not going to bother explaining uh, what MMM stands for. Anyways, we do have a softball is now looking to get his um, natural as well as Huck at the same time. As Huck was getting it in the first place but he decided to cancel it as he saw that push push come from softball. And now we do have a good unit composition here for Huck. He has a few stalkers on the field. Definitely got a few sentries and a bunch of zealots um, which is a pretty good unit composition for this early in the game. So I won't be surprised if we see him looking to do a push, although he's really anxious on getting those rocks down, which I'm not too sure why. The only thing I can think of is he's going to try going for another quick expansion, then um, use a, he can use those sentries to his advantage, d up up uh, this area as there's the ramps, and you just throw down you know, a few force fields blocking the enemy from pushing out and we have another push out here once again from softball Huck is going to be able to notice that as he um he's actually going to probably be able to pick off that medic vac nope he is not but he is forced to pull back those stalkers to the base um as he's rallying some more units over here by the front of his natural um to deal with this push here from softball it looks like softball is changing his mind on that push it looks like he decided he does not want to um Huck is um leaving a little probe here by the high, high yield um, as I'm not sure, it looks like he's going to now scout out that army there of softball as he doesn't have any observers on the field yet. Now we do have a nice uh, medic vac scout here by uh, softball, which was basically suicide there. And I do have a claw eye on the field here for Huck, as well as a second claw eye is now on the way um, for Huck. So Huck is going to be doing his basic build that he does against Terran, uh, mass claw eye and zealots and stalkers and actually basically all ground units you can think of except for probably immortals unless we see siege tanks in the field that's when he'll probably start getting some immortals um, which are pretty good uh, not pretty good they're great against siege tanks as they uh, don't take as much splash damage and all that fun stuff now we do have a bunker on the way here for a softball in front of the natural so he is definitely looking to D up this natural um, early which is uh, something that a lot of Terran players are starting to do uh, early when Starcraft 2 first came out you weren't seeing much players you do good use of bunkers. They just figured it was a waste of 100 minerals. But now that they realize that you can uh, salvage it, you might as well build the bunkers, D up your base, and if you're going to do, do some sort of a push, then salvage the bunkers, push out, and then rebuild them when your army dies. Stuff like fun stuff like that. Now we do have a push here from Huck. Uh, we do have um, a couple uh, Vikings are now on the field here as well um, for softball. So softball is going to try countering that Colossi build here by Huck. But I don't think this is going to be, uh, he actually, softball might have enough to deal with this, um, push here from Huck. Um, it's going to be close. Uh, we don't have any external thermal lance or anything on the way, um, for Huck. There's no upgrades in the field for this Protoss player. We do have Stimpak, um, for the Terran players. So that is going to give him his advantage and also concussive shells, which is going to pick off that Zealot, um, quite a bit. Now we have great force field placement there by Huck as he is trapping the army of, um, softball and just demolished all those marauders. Uh, definitely bad move there by softball. Probably miss micro. Um, micro, yeah, I almost it sounded like I said macro. Uh, they're way too common. <laughs> Similar, I mean. Uh, now we do have uh, another um, Huck is coming in from the side here, trying to take out that uh, um, bunker. Uh, I don't know why I had a hard time saying that there. As he is able to destroy that bunker now, he um, looks like a softball is trying to pull off a, a mule and a bunch of SCVs to repair that other bunker of his um, to deal with this push here from Huck. And Huck is um, uh, has a proxy pylon at the Zelnaga Tower, so he's just warping in reinforcement units um, to this push that he's doing. But he realizes he does not have enough units right now uh, to fully push into that base and do a quick good game. Now we do have... Um, gravity boosters on the way. That's an odd uh, upgrade here for this Protoss player. Uh, I've never seen Huck get those before. Um, and I've seen a lot of Huck games. Um, but we uh, should see extended... I'm surprised he hasn't gotten extended thermal ants yet. Now we do have... Uh, 
two more gateways on the way as well as a nexus for Huck. So Huck is looking to take over that third base like he was planning on to. Um, so he's definitely looking to keep an economic advantage here for him. Now we do have proxy pylons on the way here for Huck. Uh, over here on the side, I think that's for scouting. Um, which, yeah, that's definitely for scouting in case um, any medic vac drops try to come in from the back. You'll be able to scout those right away. Now we do have extended thermal lance is on the way here for Huck finally, which is going to be um, give him a huge advantage against his Terran player as those extended thermal lances are just going to fry those Marines and Marauders to pieces. Um, now we do have a forge on the way here for Huck um, as well. Uh, we do have a second refinery or one refinery um, softball on the way here at the natural. So he's definitely looking to get um, get some um, more gas as he's um, definitely gas blocked at now. He has a ton of minerals, no gas. He needs. His macro sucks at the moment. The softball is now looking to do a little push out here. It killed that um, probe that was um, at the Zelnaga Tower, um, but Huck still has one at the other Zelnaga Tower. And it looks like there was a drop over here by softball, and uh, it definitely just got denied by Huck um, as he was forced to drop all his units as that me as he was hoping, uh, thinking that the medic vac was going to die there, but he was managing to save that medic vac on time. Now we do have a second robo bay on the way for Huck, so Huck is gonna definitely going to look to mass some Colossi right now as that extended thermal lance is done. So he has both researches there. So it looks like. Uh, Thought he uh, gravitic drive. It looks like he canceled that upgrade to get um, extended thermal ants. He did not want the warp prism upgrade, I guess. Um, now we do have a drop on the way here for softball um, behind the um, third base of Huck, but Huck does have um, all his units here to be able to defend against that. And we do have another push here with a ton of marauders and marines by softball, and there's no medic vacs here to heal with them. Uh, only one medic vac, which has like no health. That Huck's proxy pylon is destroyed now at the. Um, Zell Naga Tower. Um, looks like Softball is, is trying to heal up his units here in the back as he does stint pack and he's going to be able to pick off these probes one by one from the high ground of Huck's third base. Um, so Huck might have a, um, a base advantage right now, but those probes are getting picked off so it's not even going to matter. And force Huck to pull, bring over his Colossi um, and fry um, up the rest of those units. And then in the meantime, Softball is going to be has a great you know, army composition right now and he's looking to push out into the base of Huck and Huck could be in trouble right now. Um, actually, never mind. Huck is not in trouble. This could decide his game. Softball doesn't really have any more. Uh, he has a few more units on the way here. Um, the, now, as the battle is on the way, Huck has definitely a huge army composition um, against the softball here, as the softball only has the Marine Marauder ball going on. As a he has a stint pack once again, which I think was a bad move because it brought all his units down to yellow health, and those um, extended thermal ants from the Colossi are just going to fry them to nothing. Looks like we have another drop um, trying to get on the way here um, at the third base. Um, of Huck, but Huck was able to deny that as he does have a few units to defend against that. And uh, that Zealot just got destroyed. Now we have a ton of um, Colossi on the field here for Huck as well as Stalkers. But there's a couple of Vikings to be able to deal with this. Uh, he's going to, um, Huck is going to focus down on those Vikings, so the threat to the Colossi are done. We are in a choke point here, which is actually good for Huck because of the um, Colossi. is going to be able to fry everything in pieces. Definitely a well force field placement once again. So there you have it. Um, softball, good games out. Uh, I gotta admit, uh, Softball could have played that a little better. Um, I'm actually disappointed he went to the normal um, Marine Marauder Ball, um, which, I mean, when you're going up against a player like Huck, that's, yeah, that's just a no-no. I mean, come on. It's freaking Huck, for Christ's sake. But there you have it. Uh, the first game goes to Huck, and I'll see you all in game two. And, oh, this is a best out of three uh, series, so, yeah. All right, see you all in game two.